Assalamu alaikum guys. This is Maru Hussain, a student of Devdil International University, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. And my ID is 17115 Today, I am going to present a very important topic of compiler designing. Today, I am going to present about syntax tree, direct acyclic graph, and the three address code. So, to present that, let us see my presentation slide and enjoy. So, this is my presentation slide, and a special thanks to Mr. Shah MD Tangri Siddiqui. Assistant Professor of Computer Science and Engineering, Deputy International University, for giving me this opportunity to describe that. So, let us move on to next slide. So, direct acyclic graphs. Firstly, the nodes in a syntax tree represent construct in the source program. A DAG, that means direct acyclic graph, is used to identify the common sub expression. Here, we will solve this expression A plus a into b minus c plus b minus c into t so this is the duck for this expression so here firstly we can see the common two thing b minus c and b minus c both are common for the thing that's why we root b and c bottom part of the graph then we can see both b minus c is been covered now this lastly b minus c is connected with d so we gave this into with d with b minus c on the other hand and the first b minus c is also being multiplied with a so we again took this b minus c and this a together into by making into together now the second last two expression has been done we only have to add a with this total part so we gave a plus sign and add the total thing together by adding this plus now finally a plus a into v minus c and b minus c into d will be added together so we get this plus sign and add them together now we will go to solve three address code firstly we can tell that an or it is an alternative form of intermediate that is lower level representation. So here x plus y into x becomes t1 and t2, where t1 equal to y into z and t2 equal to x plus t1. So let us solve that again. So already we have done this DAG that means direct acyclic graph. So we will do the three address code for this corresponding duck. So firstly, we took B minus C. So we gave T1 equal to B minus C. Then this T1 has been multiplied with A and D. So we gave term 2 equal to A into B minus C. That means T1. So we gave T2 equal to A into T1. And then this total thing that means a into b minus c will be added with a so we get we already know that a into b minus c that means terminal 2 now terminal 2 is added with a so we get terminal 3 equal to a plus t 2 now term for t4 so we have already completed this part so we have to complete the right part of that so we have already b minus c and d will be multiplied with b minus c so b minus c is already term 1 and term 1 will be multiplied with d so we get t4 equal to t1 into d and finally the total one this left side that is t3 and this right side whole side t4 will be added together so we get term 5 equal to t3 plus t4 and that is the representation of three address code. So guys, that's the end of my presentation. Hopefully you have enjoyed a lot. And if you have any queries, feel free to ask me by comments. Take care and goodbye.